What's up everybody, Alex here and welcome to episode 6 of Children of Morta. On our last episode, Linda did some work. I can't believe I was hesitant to pick Linda. I was like, oh, do I want to take Linda because, you know, she's level 1 and we have Dizzy, had no success with her. Nauseated. Feverish. Okay. Bergson's mind unsettled from the incremental rise of the corruption. No longer were even they immune to its ill effects. And this answers the question I had at the end of the last episode. I was like, what's corruption fatigue? I didn't know that existed. Well, apparently they hadn't actually introduced it to me yet. So, so I can't use the same hero over and over again. That's what, basically what corruption fatigue does. So I can't use Linda. I can use Mark, John, or Kevin. I'm going to use Mark. Why not use someone new? I mean, hold on. Let's see. What did we unlock here? Oh, we were so close to getting the... Um, wait a minute. Hold on. We might be able to... Okay, if we unlock this. Yes, so we do unlock this for the family. Oh, and that's what the egg does. The egg allows us to reset the abilities. Okay, so the whole family moves faster. Uh, Kevin has critical damage increase. John has given everyone more health. And Mark, what's Mark going to do for us? In increasing the regeneration of the stamina bar. All right, Mark, let's see what you got. We're going to use we're going to take Mark into the depths of our new dungeon here. One that I've never been in, obviously, because every moment of this game that I've played, you guys have been here with me, and I appreciate that. And thank you so much to everyone who has been subbing they through uh, deep breath, this playthrough. Steadying their hands. Ahead of them lay the resting chambers of Anaya Dyer and the answers that were so dearly needed. All right, let's see. So Mark automatically targets his enemies from a short distance and dashes towards them. Okay. So the target is singled out. Okay, got it. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, there's the target. Oh, he's literally a like karate kid. It's like the monk from Diablo 2. So I don't have my unlocked ability yet. Oh, no! I'm getting hit. This is bad. This is bad. Just gotta keep fighting. Keep fighting. How do you like that dodge, goblin? He's doing damage, though. I mean, I took I took 60 damage on that run there, so that's not good. Alright, so... Oh, I can't open either of them. That makes me sad. Okay, hold on. Before we go over there, let's, let's just explore a little further. I've been a little haphazard with my exploration. Whoa, what's this? Linda? Wait, that's not Linda, is it? What just happened there? Keep fighting, keep fighting! Keep kicking and punching! What's happening? Why is... Okay, that obviously is not Linda. Should I be punching her? Is that like a fake Linda? There's a level up. Let's just keep fighting. Keep punching. Keep punching. Let's get that combo going. That's it, Mark. Oh no, I'm punching the wall. That was a waste. Could have kept an epic combo running. Instead, I just punched the wall a bunch of times. What's happening here? Are they just coming over and over again? Well, I'm gaining experience and I'm not really losing health, so that's good. Oh, again, I didn't get to the thing in time. Hold on, can I upgrade? So, primary attacks with full armor bar and lashes out with a magical whip. Alright, I'm lashing out with a magical whip. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Okay. That had a really neat sound. So what just happened there? I'm taking the money, sorry. Is this a real Linda? Like what? Heal a portion of your missing health. Okay. Well, I'm gonna heal myself, thank you. Whoa, was that something? Something I could punch. Okay. Well, that was weird. I still don't have any gemstones, so let's head over here. With our boy Mark the Karate Kid. What was the actual Karate Kid's name? Was it Mark? I would be so fascinated if it was. Oh, it like pulls them. By the way, I'm barely moving. Uh, he kind of selects his target and jumps towards them. 
in some way. So he kind of moves, as long as you're clicking the attack button, he kind of moves on his own. Alright, so we got a gem. Let's go open one of these crates here. Maybe there's something good in it. Let's open this one. Alright, just money. I'll take just money though. Which is Morv, I think it was called. Morv? Maybe, maybe not Morv. M-O-V, M-O-R-V, whatever that is. I'm just gonna call it money. All right. Come on, oh no, these, okay, these goblins. I don't know why I have this like, issue with taking down goblins all the time. Uh oh, I named. Not a name, I keep saying that, it's like the Diablo in me talking. There we go, another level up. It's just an, uh, an elite, I should say. Because in Diablo, don't you guys remember, if you ever played Diablo, they would have like a name above their head, right? They would be an elite, but they'd also have like a name like, you know, Goblin the Destroyer or something like that, you know? Alright, fill an armor bar. So primary attacks, fill the uh, armor bar, okay. So that basically allows him to stay in melee range and just deliver a beatdown. Ooh, what's this? A companion that stuns enemies, welcome! Welcome, companion who stuns enemies. Okay, so that looks like basically a straight line, so we gotta go down. Let's do it. We're doing pretty good here. Mark's doing work. In the deepest tunnels of the Caldippo Caves, the monstrosities therein found a deviant harmony impeding the Guardian's progress. Okay. Some sort of issue here. Oh, the... Goblin again. Okay, I gotta grab this thing. Yes. Oh, why am I taking damage? He stood there a little too long. There we go. Oh, the ogre was stunned. Am I actually dodging those? I don't know. Oh, he's stunned again. Okay, hold on. Keep stunning, my friend. Keep stunning. Alright, there we go. I'm in trouble, though. I'm getting really low on health. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. There we go. No! Okay, hold on. How do I heal up here? Oh, I can use my Q. I'm such a noob. I could have been healing that whole time. Now I gotta wait for 75 seconds. Hey! There's something. Oh, this thing. I'm not a huge fan of it. Hey, guys, come on over here. Oh, it can stun multiple enemies. Well, I dodged an attack there. That 2% dodge is occurring more often than you would think. What is this? It's like some sort of nest. Keep hitting. Fill that armor bar. Alright. Uh-oh. There we go. Stunned and damaged. Okay. Breaking the circle. Prevent the summoning. All right, well, I'm breaking the circle. Oh, I'm in trouble. No! No! Okay, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm running over here. Okay. In eight seconds, I can heal. In four seconds, I can heal. And I've healed. Oh, not by very much. All right. How come that guy still hit me? Okay, come on. Let's fill that armor bar. Too many arrows! No! Okay, there's a level up. What can we get here? Do we need two points for everything? We do need two points for everything. That's a weird design, like... It's only level three and I can't actually use my level up. Whoa. Oh, there's a health potion down here. Okay. That's the thing, right? Like, you're low on health, you kind of want to run away from the enemies, but at the same time, they're the ones that drop healing potions. And who's attacking me right now? I just want the money. Okay. This guy. Alright. I do not appreciate all the poison you're dropping on me. Oh, man! How am I supposed to compete with that? I can't even get close to him. There we go. Alright. Considering Mark started this uh, dungeon basically level 1 or 0, he's doing pretty good. 
Keep going, Mark. Come on. Keep going, Mark. They didn't really explain where he was. He kind of just went in by himself, I guess, earlier in the game. Okay, hold on. I'm actually kind of surprised we couldn't use our wolf pup. I healed, by the way. Like, we gave him a little house. It'd be nice if, like, he followed us in here, kind of like Torchlight. I don't know if you guys remember, but Torchlight, at the start of Torchlight, you chose whether or not you wanted a uh, cat companion or a dog companion. Hey! Drops a gemstone. Alright, drop a gemstone then. Why wouldn't it just drop a gemstone? I don't know. Oh, another... Okay, thank you. I don't- I didn't actually read what it does. What's it do? Alright, so... Dodge and, uh... What was it? Dodge... And move and speed up. Okay. Whoa! There's a bunch of guys there. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. Get out of your archers. Whoa! That's an interesting door. I've never seen that door before. Okay. Whoa! What's happening? Is this some sort of, like, horde mode? I actually have no idea. Okay. Alright. Let's group him up. Let's group him up. The stun companion is really useful. Especially when you consider that my uh, other ability is stunning as well. Boom. What do I do? Okay. Oh, I kind of missed. It's okay. Whoa! Those AoEs are really hard to deal with. Okay, it's these guys. Oh, another one? I do like that. I'm almost dead, actually. Well, I can use my Q, which I did. And a healing potion. Perfect. Okay, oh, how many waves are there? Alright, I'm gonna use the, the uh, charm I had. No! These guys really counter me because I can't stay in the same spot. There you go. How does that knock back? Whoa! Hold on. Let's take this guy out. He's doing too much damage to me. He's messing up my flow. There's another one somewhere. Oh, he's right there. I targeted the wrong guy. There we go. Come on, no more waves. Yes. What is that, though? I'm not sure what that is. Is that like a chest? Okay, creates an area that slows. Okay, slows and damages enemies. Let's try it. Uh, what I should do is I should heal first. Hold on, I only had like a couple seconds on it. Yeah, so the smart play here is actually healing. And then switching it out. Healed. Thank you. That's only 30 hit points or whatever. I'm running by you guys. I don't need you. Oh, you came too close. You're getting punched. Some more damage would be nice. Oh, money. Yep, seven gold. We'll take it. Okay, hold on. Let's pull him towards us. Ready? Oh, stun! Get him! Keep attacking! Keep fighting. Come on. There we go. What's this? Oh, increase the luck. Oh, I'm moving so slow because of spiders. No! Okay, I used my Q. I don't know what it does. Oh, it's that pool there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Taking damage. We need to heal up. Okay, hold on. Uh oh. For those seeking refuge, one problem simply replaced another. Though he was relieved to see family, Uncle Ben's first thought was of scavenging the things he needed to repair the ramshackle wagon. Uh oh, so now I gotta repair a wagon. Will I actually be able to repair this wagon without dying? It's a good chance I cannot. Let's look for some health here. Ah, no health. Alright. Hey, money. Cool. Okay. Drop health. Yes! All right, hold on. Whoa! I'm bumping into things. There we go. Slow and damage enemies. Okay, I'm going back here. Forget that. What's over here? Is this a shot? I had to have been called it shady 
he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeep. So more attack damage, increased movement speed. A melee companion that fights beside you. Sure, why not? Will he replace this guy? Or do I just get both? Yeah, I get both! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Probably should have taken the health. Okay, it's okay. Do we go down? Well, we have to f we have to fix this wagon. Okay, let's just look. Let's fix this wagon. It's got to be down here, right? Uh oh, oh, this is a lot of bad guys. Okay, hold on. What's this? Hey, speed. I'll take it. Okay, we found wood. Can I just run away? Yeah, we're just gonna run away. Oh no! Whoa, guys are getting hurt though. I dropped my, uh, my ability. Okay, where were they? They were up there, right? Hey! With supplies in hand, Ben began repairing the cart as the refugees waited, anxious to continue their trek. Okay, a board game. Thank you. All right, let's move on to the, uh... Just want to give that guy a shot. Hate those archers. All right. Let's go down. Let's see what the uh, the third level brings us. Probably grave misfortune, because we're kind of under leveled. Something was surely amiss for Noha. The stone golem bestowed upon a Neodaya to be absent from the tunnels. Oh, there's a stone golem absent from the tunnels. I wonder who we're gonna fight. I wonder who the boss is. Probably an angry stone golem who's been corrupted. That would be my guess. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh No, I can't dodge! How much damage is that doing? Hey, it did some damage. That was good. We're in trouble though. We are very low health. Okay. Chance to throw an axe while attacking. Yeah, there's an axe. Okay. Breaking the circle. Prevent the summoning. Whoa, that guy's red! And I just got a very timely dodge there. Okay, hold on. Ready? Had they only been quicker. For who? I'm going pretty quick right now. There you guys go. No! No, again! I couldn't dodge! Uh oh. We're in trouble. Okay, do we try and get to the boss just to kind of see what it is? Is that the plan here? Get to the boss, get dummied right away, just so we so we know for next time what we gotta prepare for. Cause our man Kevin here. Whoa, what's this? Do we fall down there? Oh, we can't fall down there. Okay, let's exp Oh no, that's a ton of No! Oh, I'm stuck on something! No, this is it! This is it! No, we okay, I'm so i I'm slowed and stuck on something. Okay, hold on. Okay, we shouldn't have gone that way. Health, health! Okay, hold on. I'm trying to throw stuff at people. Okay, so we can go down. What's over here? The store. Can't even buy anything. Okay, let's go down. Let's see what's up. What's this T do? It says T there. I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Uh, the T's gone now. My mini map's gone. Okay, here we go. For the record, we are totally in trouble. Anea Daya, the mother of beasts and goddess of anguish, a protector, a being of stone. That's living. the stone I was talking about. There's the golem. I knew he was going to be an angry go- Oh, and this is bad. And I'm dead. Wow, okay, I did, I did great. That was a really good fight with the golem. Well, we knew we were going to get dummied. Did we know we were going to get dummied that fast? I think not. I need your help, Sheila. It's not for me. Come to aid the family. For Mary and her children. And so, Ben's letter ended. 
He was sending a letter to somebody. His doubts showing he contemplated his relationship with Aurea, the emotional and single-minded Sheila. Why had they ended? The question still unanswered. All right. They hinted at some sort of previous relationship for Ben before. Um, so Linda, did that say Linda's corruption fatigue was done? Linda has corruption fatigue. Is that just from before? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see the family round table here. Let's see what's going on. Everybody was worried about Anaya Dyer's stone sentinel that they would probably have to face on their quest. Can fire even harm stone? Lucy asked intently. Kevin was having similar thoughts about the alloy Uncle Ben had used to forge his daggers. Well, no kidding. Alright, so we could go to Ben's workshop, but let's go over here to the book of Rhea. And we need to invest... Wait, not there. What should we invest in? Hmm. That's actually a pretty big upgrade. For 475... Okay, let's take the extra money here. Wow, that's expensive. And we'll take the ob the obelisk effect too, I think. Yeah, let's take that. And, oh, we're short. We're short. It's okay. It's alright. It's good. Let's see what the workshop can do for us, though. Uh, we have enough to increase base attack damage. Critical chance and dodge. I think we gotta get the dodge because that effectively doubles our dodge. We're short on the added dodge effect there. Movement speed still super expensive. Okay, let's take some extra damage here. All right. We really do need to get our primary attack damage up. We most certainly do. I think we need to invest a little bit here because the auto attacks are not doing enough damage. All right. Guys, we'll see you next time on the next episode of Children of Morta. Thank you so much for joining me. Have yourself a wonderful day.